Hi, my name is Alex. I'm the local administrator for this Facebook group. And I would like to welcome you to the first ever Sydney-based Buy Nothing project group. I'm recording this short introductory video as I thought it would be nice to explain what this is all about and to put a human voice to our local group. The Buy Nothing programme is based on the idea of a gift economy. That is, that goods and services are given freely to community members without cash, barter or trade. It started as a Facebook social experiment back in 2013 to try and replicate something that we have lost, ironically from what we may refer to as lesser developed cultures. There's a great little video which I'll add in the comments documenting a journey to the Himalayas, showing raw people who have survived in extremely harsh conditions by sharing and looking after one another in a true commune. This video was the inspiration for the founders of this global project. What started as a social experiment has now grown to over 150 groups worldwide in four countries with 25,000 members. The most recent group is in Sweden, with members actively giving and requesting goods and services from one another. I've been interested in alternative economies for a while now. And in my late 30s, I'm waking up to the damage caused by pursuing a purely materialistic lifestyle. After seeing how much the world is in debt and how many more of us are in poverty without the chance of a better future. All, while big, all whilst big corporations and banks reaping their massive profits from the toil of ordinary people. Who owns all the debt, we ask? Well, I could go on, but then this would be a very long introductory video, so I won't. We are taught from an early age that competition is good, more is good, and in pursuing the career to rise to the top, you will be happy. But why are so many people with their big screen televisions, SUVs and luxury motor cars, in a world of plenty, why are so many people unhappy, stressed out and seemingly unfulfilled? Many people drift, choosing a job out of necessity to pay the bills, in bondage from cradle to grave. Without, tra tra without trapping into their true talent. We've developed a me, me, me society and we are more connected than ever, but we don't even know our neighbours' names. We live in apartments and bread to consume. Products such as old CRT, t CRT televisions are discarded on the street at a phenomenal rate. Something a decade ago would have been a mortal sin. Products are getting cheaper and more disposable. So why are all the disease in our society? Ironically, we, are, we, we live in a world of scarcity, so we are told, and we now all have to work harder and longer to pull ourselves out of debt. I wonder whose debt is it really? In South Africa, a country where poverty and crime is rife, a guy by the name of Michael Tellinger is seeking to address this inequality. He is, he is working with local communities to empower them through what he calls Contribution Society, and this is akin to the gift economy. Members are engaged in projects to rebuild their community through endeavours such as producing their own food and building projects. He describes how banks and governments have stolen the land and the resources from the people, taking away their power to sustain themselves. He has even formed a political party called Ubuntu. It can be summed up as, if it's not good for everyone, it's not good for all. And this is my inspiration for doing something local. I'll add a link to the page in the comments below. We may not be able to change the world overnight, wave a magic wand and vanquish all the debt, but we can do something by starting locally. And I hate to use an overused term, thinking globally. In its simplest form, Buy Nothing Programme, the Buy Nothing Programme, aims to recycle, reuse and extend product life by gifting within the community, thereby reducing waste and carbon pollution. But the greater intent is to focus, it's to foster creativity and collaboration as people get to know their neighbours and work together. I see the programme developing as individuals work on community projects, one of my visions is to develop a community garden. Fruits, vegetables and plant life would be grown for food and could also be developed into beauty and medicinal supplies for the benefit of all. In Sydney, we are fortunate to have a council and a mayor that are very supportive of these endeavours. 
and once we get some mo momentum, I should be seeking their support. So, what can you post? Just about anything, as long as it's legal and safe. From books to baked goods, CDs to rugs. But it's not just limited to goods. A teacher with some free time could give some tuition to local children, or you could also band together and help out on a community project, or help feed the homeless. It can be as materialistic or altruistic as you like. I'll be there as the group administrator to oversee postings and to encourage you all. I'm keen to get together and work on various endeavours and see how things grow over time. Please, before starting out, do read all the notices including Getting Started and the Etiquette Policy. If you have any questions, then please just ask away. Now, you may wonder why this group only covers Surrey Hills, Paddington and Darlinghurst. Well, firstly, I live in Surrey Hills and so it's a logical place to begin. After migrating from England some 12 years ago, I'm familiar with the, with the local area and can use my local knowledge to gain support and promote this group. Secondly, the idea is that we concentrate the gift, gifting uh, community in a manageable area where members can, over time, get to know one another. A community spirit is fostered as one of the aims is to build relationships. So, when posting, please let us know just a little bit about you. Now, if you reside in a different area and are interested in starting a group, then we encourage you to let us know. We currently have two other groups in Australia, one in Berwick, Victoria, excuse my mispronunciation there, and one in the south coast of South Australia. I hope with enough support, this programme will catch fire and spread all over Australia as people again see the value in sharing and working within their communities. In the meantime, tell all your friends, tell your co-workers and get involved. The more we share, the more richer our community will be. Well, till the next time, bye for now.